hands on with iOS 14.2 release candidate. Check it out. How's it going ladies and gents, boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. So on the iOS 14 release candidate, Yes, I said release candidate. Apple's no longer calling it a GM. You're no longer going to get this annoying pop-up message every time you unlock your phone. So that's one of my favorite changes of 14.2 RC. And of course, one of the most outstanding features, or should I say one of the eight most outstanding features of iOS 14.2 are the eight new wallpapers, actually really 16 new wallpapers when you include their dark variants. So let's take a look at all 16 of these wallpapers right now. The thing I like about these wallpapers, well, well, at least some of them, is that they're not all abstract images, you know, produced in Adobe Illustrator. These look like real life locations here. And of course you have some illustrations, but these illustrations are probably based on real locations at least. And the cool thing is, is that just like all the wallpapers nowadays, you get two variants. So you get the light mode and the dark mode, and you can see the stars in the sky at the top of those dark wallpapers. Those look excellent. What do you guys think about those? Which one is your favorite? Let me know down below in the comment section. I know I will be rocking one of these wallpapers on my iPhone 12. If you haven't seen our iPhone 12 top features video, be sure to click the link down below in the description for that as well. All right, so let's talk about another big feature for iOS 14.2. And you probably already know where I'm going with this. Of course, you have over 100 new emoji characters in 14.2. Let's talk about some of the more outstanding ones like this one right here. I love this disguise face. That is such an awesome emoji. What do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, but that's not where it stops, of course. We're going to actually use the iOS 14 search feature, the emoji search feature, which I love to be able to search for these new emoji. So Dodo, you see the new Dodo emoji. I'm just going to type boom for boomerang. You see it in there. It's backspace. There we go. Keep them big just like that. So you have those three new emojis. Let's talk about some others. Let's go ahead and use our search again. Let's type in pinch. There we go. Pinch of salt, just like that. Or maybe that's a chef's kiss or the beginning of a chef's kiss. I don't know. Now let's talk about one of my favorites, the smile with the tear. Smiley, no, let's, let's, let's search again. Let's try tear. Here we go. Now I don't want to read into this too deeply, but you see the smile, you see the tear. Maybe it's a hallmark moment. We don't know for sure, but that is a new emoji. And there's also the ninja as well. There's also bubble tea. Still haven't tried it yet. If anyone has any recommendations, let me know. And then you have the mask. Now, the mask obviously is an old emoji, but notice he's smiling this time. No longer frowning. All right. So Let's talk about the new lock screen interface for music. And you're going to notice quite a few changes here. The, the obvious change, the big change is the fact that the album artwork is much larger than before. You also get a larger button for your volume control. Uh, so you can grab that and drag it to the left or to the right to increase or reduce volume. And you also notice a new design for the airplay icon in the upper right hand corner. You tap on that and you get this brand new AirPlay interface. And this allows you to output to different AirPlay speakers on your home network. It also allows you to control other speakers and TVs as well. And like I said, this is a brand new design. Looks a lot different than we had before. So let's go ahead and tap this button here. And now you can control other AirPlay 2 destinations on your home network. So I can pause or play any of these locations. I want to do so, so I can play there in the living room and office or pause. Pretty cool. And you can just tap out to get back just like that. So this is the new lock screen interface. Notice also you get the little indicator on the album artwork that shows you the source of the now playing music as well. So here is our music app. Looks beautiful, of course, from iOS 14. If you tap the AirPlay button, again, you get that nice pop over with the new AirPlay 2 interface for iOS 14.2. So again, you can go in here, uh, change your destinations, you can control your music. You can even see, as you see right there, when speakers are active on your network, you see the little animation. And if I pause that, you're gonna see that little animation stop. So you see that animation right there? And watch what happens when I go in and control other speakers around the network. I'm gonna go ahead and pause that one. And you're gonna see that animation is no longer active, indicating that there's no music being played 
on that current speaker, which is really awesome. So you can quickly see that at a glance. A little bit different on some of the earlier betas, but nonetheless, I like how it is currently on 14.2 RC. All right, another cool feature is the completely redesigned AirPlay 2 interface in Control Center, which looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the prior version wasn't terrible, let's, let's be honest, but this version is a lot more appealing to the eye and it's actually a little bit more functional as well. We'll talk about that. One of the things that stands out to me though is the source icon. So you can see where this music is playing from, whether it's playing from the podcast app or the music app or other sources, you can see that right there with that handy little icon. And of course you have your scrubbers, you can scrub through all your music. You also have your transport controls to play, go back to the prior song, skip forward, and control volume. You have the name of the song as well. You also have the source speaker. And of course, if you tap the AirPlay icon, you can output to other devices on your network as well, other AirPlay 2 devices. And you also see your disclosure triangle if you're outputting to multiple speakers. And the cool thing is you can still see your transport controls in the prior version of iOS 14. It would hide those transport controls when in this view but now you have more functionality within the AirPlay 2 control center interface, which is awesome. And let's go ahead and play one of my favorite podcasts here. Of course, 9 to 5 Mac Happy Hour. Definitely subscribe to that if you haven't done so already. So informative. But you could see, notice the source. It's showing podcasts now. And you see that beautiful 9 to 5 Mac Happy Hour album artwork. Shout out Michael Stieber for the awesome artwork. And here on the lock screen, you can also see that source icon as well. All right, so let's go back in here. And if we're not playing music, notice what you get here. You get suggestions, not only from the music app, but also from recently played podcasts as well. You simply tap on one of those, it starts playing that music immediately. And if you tap on the album artwork, guess what? It takes you right to that destination or it takes you right to the source, I should say. And if you have AirPods connected and you're not currently playing any music, guess what you get on the lock screen? You get suggestions there as well. You can scroll through like that and simply tap on one of those and voila, your selection begins playing just like that. Super handy little functionality here in iOS 14.2. But that's not where the music goodness ends in 14.2. If we go into settings control center, you're gonna find a new music recognition toggle for Shazam. So you can add that directly to control center and have Shazam functionality right there just to swipe away. So now you can be completely inconspicuous about trying to learn what song is playing in the background. Sometimes, I don't know, for me, it's kind of embarrassing. I feel like sometimes I should know the song and I know I really shouldn't be embarrassed about such a thing, but you know, whatever. But this allows you, as you can see, to be completely inconspicuous and you can instantly learn what song is playing. So you simply tap on the banner notification, you saw it there. It takes you directly to Shazam. You even saw the video for Sakura Drops and then you just tap on play in Apple Music and it loads. Now, if we go to settings and go to sound and haptics, you're gonna notice that reduce loud sounds is now renamed headphone safety. And then you'll find actually reduce loud sounds within that section. So you get headphone notifications and reduce loud sounds, both really aimed at helping you stay conscious of your hearing health, which is awesome. Now, another change you'll notice here in 14.2 is the Apple Watch app icon. Now it displays the Apple Watch with a solo loop, which was of course launched alongside the Apple Watch Series 6 and the Apple Watch SE. And if you have an Apple Card, you'll find a new month breakdown within the Apple Wallet app to help you track your spending on a month to month basis. And in iOS 14.2, you'll notice the new intercom functionality within the Home app. This was of course launched alongside the HomePod mini at the iPhone 12 event. And you can simply tap the intercom button, talk to the intercom, and it'll play back with the dubious sound quality. All right, so you'll also find some intercom settings within the home app there that you can go in and, and adjust. And intercom will eventually work across all of your major devices like your Apple Watch and iPhone, etc. Now, another thing I notice here is that some of the HDR videos that I created and I sent to my iPhone, the thumbnails were kind of messed up on the prior version of iOS. Now it seems to be fixed in 14.2. Now here's another really interesting feature in 14.2. You notice no music was actually playing. You can see there on my local device, nothing is playing, but I can ask Siri to stop music playback and watch what happens here. So I'm going to invoke Siri, stop music. 
and notice what happens. I get this little card that pops up and music playback on my HomePod stops. So it recognizes that no, there's no music playing back on your phone, but yes, music is playing back on the HomePod. Let me go ahead and pause that. And that little card pops up to allow me to control my HomePod speaker. So talk about handy, talk about intuitiveness. I mean, iOS 14 has it in spades. Another thing that you'll appreciate here for your AirPods Pro, if you own AirPods Pro, you have those paired to your device. Now you can enable optimized battery charging to reduce battery aging. So this will basically make it so it will wait to finish charging past 80% until you need to use your AirPods, thus saving battery. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you guys think about iOS 14.2 RC? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5 Mac.